Hey everyone, welcome to What the Stuff. Today we're going to talk about families. They're one of the most important things a person has. In recent years, though, we've heard numerous people, organizations, and even courts debating things like same-sex marriage and same-sex parenting. And unfortunately, there are also a lot of myths surrounding these topics. So let's bust a few, shall we? Here are five of the biggest. There's no real scientific support that same-sex parenting is bad. Sure, you might hear opponents of the published research claim that it's tainted with liberal bias, but research conducted on LGBT parents and their kids has been overwhelmingly positive. A host of respected organizations have issued statements giving gay parenting their stamp of approval. And not just some fringe outfits. We're talking the American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, the American Association for Marriage and Family Therapy, and more. The list goes on. Take a 2002 policy statement released by the American Academy of Pediatrics. It reiterated that based on scientific literature, quote, children who grow up with one or two gay and or lesbian parents fare as well in emotional, cognitive, social, and sexual functioning as do children whose parents are heterosexual. In straight household context, studies have linked the absence of dads to higher rates of delinquency, drug abuse, and lower educational attainment. But New York University sociologist Judith Stacy's meta-analysis of 33 studies found that parental gender had little bearing on kids' well-being. The most influential variables were instead resources and childcare commitment. These hold even greater sway than the number of parents in a home. In other words, two parents invested are the best case scenario, but even one involved parent is better than a detached couple, no matter their sexual orientation. Even if LGBT couples create an enriching home environment, what happens to the kids when they venture from their roost? By one 2010 estimate, 41% of 10-year-old children with gay parents encountered bullying or isolation. But this doesn't mean they're at greater risk of becoming depressed or forming fewer friendships. The University of California at San Francisco researchers who collected that bullying data went back and checked in with the same adolescents seven years later and found no lasting psychological damage from any parent-related persecution. Additionally, 25 years worth of studies consistently debunk theories that psychological and social pitfalls are in store for children of lesbian and gay parents. Outcomes of anxiety, depression, substance abuse, and socialization aren't markedly different for kids raised in gay or lesbian-headed households. Repeated analyses have found that parents' sexual orientation is not a factor. In other words, kids can and do grow up with good heads on their shoulders regardless of their parents' sexual orientation. Now, one of the most common anxieties regarding LGBT parenting is that the children will inevitably become gay, as if that would actually also be a problem. University of Virginia psychologist Charlotte J. Patterson points out that such anxiety is unfounded, since non-heterosexual orientation was long ago eliminated as a disorder or illness. And regardless, statistics indicate that children don't necessarily inherit the identical gender and sexual identities of their parents. In fact, research on children raised by lesbian couples had found that most of the kids ultimately identify as straight in adulthood. For instance, in one 1989 study of adolescents raised by lesbians and straight parents, the only participant to identify as gay belonged to a hetero-headed household. Hmm. Are same-sex couples identical to straight couples when it comes to raising kids and running a household? No, and that isn't a bad thing. As Judith Stacy points out, differences don't equate deficiencies in this case. Research has highlighted some unique hallmarks of lesbian parenting, including more equal division of chores and childcare, and greater parent-child emotional openness. Of course, just as not all straight couples make identical decisions, neither do LGBT parents. But the data clearly show that kids raised by gay and lesbian parents grow into successful, well-adjusted young adults. And parents of all stripes can take away an important lesson. 
there is more than one road to raising a happy, healthy child. Well, thanks so much for watching. What do you think is the most important thing about parenting? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you like this video, come visit me over at Stuff Mom Never Told You. We bust myths over there as well.